Listen up my fellow coaches and leaders. The truth is we all need a space to learn and grow so we can bust through our personal glass ceilings and step into our full potential, especially if we wanna create the space to allow others to step into theirs. And that's where I come in. I'm not just a former clinical psychologist, but also a seasoned dream life and business coach with over two decades of experience helping people shatter their personal barriers and unleash their greatness. And here's the thing, you don't have to figure this all out on your own. As a heart-centered entrepreneur or industry leader, you deserve the best tools and strategies to help you and your business thrive. And that's why I'm excited to share my experience with you through the Coaching for Coaches podcast. Utilizing powerful combination of clinical skills, quantum physics, and strength-based coaching methods, I'll show you exactly what to do and exactly what to say to unleash your true potential and create a path for your clients to follow. And not just that, I'll also teach you how to build a thriving coaching business around your unique skill set and passions. So let's get started. It's time to answer your calling, make a lasting impact on the world, and create a lucrative living doing exactly what you love. Welcome to the Coaching for Coaches podcast, where greatness begins. All right. Welcome, welcome, you guys. My name is Denise Walsh. It is Monday night, 7 p.m. Eastern, where I go live each and every Monday to chat with you about a coaching topic. And my goal here is to help you get that big idea out of your head, into the calendar, and out into the world. And so every single Monday, I bring on either uh, another dream life coach where we chat about her business and we do a bit of hot seat coaching, or I have a topic that I then discuss in chat with you. And so if you are listening live, I'd love for you to put live in the chat. If you are listening via the replay, put hashtag replay. I would love to connect with you afterwards, during it. I'm going to check out the comments and answer any of your hot burning questions. Now, if you're listening to today's call and you're like, you know what? I am interested and curious about becoming a dream life coach. Like what does a dream life coach really mean? And why is it important to join a coaching community as you step into entrepreneurship and learn how to be a coach yourself? And so if that's you, be sure to put coach in the comments and we'll schedule a 15, 20 minute talk or chat with just you and me where we're, we're able to hear, I'm able to hear a bit about your story, your vision, your heart, what you're looking for and see if I can best support you. So, hey, Jessica, hey, Sada, thank you so much for popping on. Hey, Nicole, we've got three dream life coaches in the comments right here who can also answer any of your questions. So, all right, well, today we are going to talk about something I think probably all of us, you guys let me know, uh, but I know it's something that I really got to work through on my entrepreneurial journey uh, that started back in 2007. Uh, when I started into entrepreneurship, I had this belief about the money I was supposed to make and what was normal, right? How many of you have had that experience where you're like, yep, this is just my lot in life. This is just my piece of the pie. This is just how it goes. And so I had this like cap on my income that I didn't even really recognize. It was subconscious. It was just the way I viewed the world. And then I got into entrepreneurship and I realized that instead of money being a pie, money is truly a waterfall, right? There's plenty, there's enough for everybody. And me having more wasn't taking away from others. And you guys get the drill. Put a yes, yes, yes. If you've ever experienced that too. Nicole's saying, yep, yep, I know. I think we all really get to grow in this area as we step into entrepreneurship. And so our next guest is a retired art teacher. And I'm so excited for you to have a chance to get to know her and her story. But the topic we are going to chat about uh, today during her hot seat coaching is money mindset and the growth that we get to experience as entrepreneurs, knowing that truly our time and our wisdom is worth charging for. And in fact, it's better for our clients 
when they pay. Ooh, baby. Yes. <laughs> Jessica said yes. Becca said yes. Nicole. Yes, yes, yes. Hey, Angela. Thank you for being on live, you guys. All right. So without further ado, I am excited to introduce you guys to Eileen Healy. And the crowd goes wild. Yay! <laughs> All right, Eileen, welcome, welcome, welcome to the call. Super glad to have you here. Do you hear me? You are on um, mute and there you go. Now I see you. There we are. <laughs> Perfect. Well, I'm excited to have this conversation with you because I think almost all of us who are getting started in entrepreneurship, or of course, even when you hit that new plateau, like we all get to grow in this area all of the time. We're never done learning. And so before we jump into the hot seat topic for today, I'd love to hear a bit about your story because you retired, but you weren't done yet, right? You were like, I've got a lot of value to add to the world. And so you jumped into coaching. So tell us a bit about that story. Okay. Um, hi, thanks for having me. Uh -huh. <laughs> um, so yeah, I um, I took like a sidestep from teaching and just restarted on a new route. Um, what led to that? I mean, it has to be my own transformation and my own working on myself, self-discovery, finding my purpose, and realizing that I was on the wrong path. You know, what fit for me before was starting to feel hard and heavy and not fulfilling. Um, I always enjoyed teaching. Um, I still enjoy teaching, but it was all those extra things they were piling on us that was stealing the joy out of it for me. How many um, years did you, did you teach? 31 years. Oh. Yeah. I was lucky enough right out of college to get my first job and, um, yeah, it was a long career and definitely fulfilling when it, but until it wasn't. Yeah. You know, and that was all that all hit me around COVID time where it just became so heavy. Yeah. Um, and around the same time, I started really pouring into my self-development and things started to shift. The more I found out about myself and the more I started to trust my inner voice, my intuition the more I started realizing that I was being pulled in a different direction. Okay. So you know what it's like to live what we say kind of out of alignment, right? Where you're like, this isn't my thing anymore. It may have been at one point, but I have shifted. I have grown. And it can take years, you guys, of that pivoting of, wait a minute, I don't know this is quite it. And sometimes we make it it. You know what I mean? Like, I'm just going to try to figure it out and, and decide to stay. And, yeah. you know, we, we give ourselves, I used to give myself a milestone. Well, all right, I got until St. Patrick's day, and then <laughs> I'm going to have a day off or, you know, we give yeah. ourselves these, these Absolutely. milestones to keep ourselves in the game. And then eventually we go, this isn't a matter of me changing to fit the, the career. It's a matter of shifting the career to fit the new me. And it was also a matter of getting past the fear of leaving something that was safe and secure yeah. to take the risk to sidestep to something that's new. Yeah. At, you know, I was 58 when I retired. I turned 60 next month. No, I'm sorry, next week. <laughs> <laughs> you and, um 60 is the new 40 look at you <laughs> and what the heck I'm starting a new career <laughs> well and I love that because the end of the, at the end of the day you like I, retirement does not mean dead and mm. so you were able to retire from one position but truly add value to the world in a new way on your terms talking about the things you are passionate about and speaking to people who are possibly like three steps behind you. And what I mean by that is you went through your own growth journey 
And now you're like, oh my gosh, I know what it's like to be back there and I can support you and create this bridge for people who are looking to rediscover themselves as well. And so you uh, jumped into becoming a dream life coach. In fact, you were one of the first people who signed up for 90 day U-turn a few years ago. Um, And so I'd love to hear how becoming or being a dream life coach has helped you on this journey. The 90 day U-turn was a game changer. Um, Not only did it help me personally to work through lots of faulty beliefs and, and just extra baggage from the past that needed to be left behind, I also started to see and appreciate the system that you use. And as a teacher, I could see how the different parts were working together and the logical sequence, the the dream life path, the whole, you know, it makes sense to me. Yeah. Um, You know, so I started looking at it as not only helping me, but hmm, maybe, you know, maybe there's something here for me, you know? Yeah. What I really appreciate about 90 day U-turn is, and then all the coaches get to go through it is because number one, we all got our own stuff right? Like we want to grow ourselves. We want to be our best selves. And so it helps us to bust through our own personal glass ceiling, but also it gives you a framework that you can then duplicate, take pieces that Mm -hmm. really fit you. You can take your favorite exercises, combine it with, I know you do a lot of art therapy and expression and things like that. So you can combine it with what you already do, but it gives you kind of a roadmap or a a platform or a, you know, an experience that you can then model after, which I think is right. helpful. And I think seeing that there was a system in place also yeah. made it, um, it, it illustrated the fact that I don't need to know everything. Yes. Because there's a system. <laughs> yes. There is a logical system that works and it applies to all different situations. Yes. Yes. And so you started coaching. Uh, You started putting yourself out there and saying, hey, I do accountability coaching. I can offer some life coaching sessions. What would you say has been um, probably one of the biggest game changers for you to grow your confidence that like, okay, oh my gosh, I am good at this. I can do this. Biggest game changer. So I would say my Facebook group where I can practice some of the things I've learned in a focused group, you know, and it just, I go live five days a week and just, I wing it. (laughs) I have a topic that I, that I use to springboard and just do a quick 10 minute video to inspire and motivate for for the day. Um, But it made me feel more comfortable being in front of the camera, talking, Mm -hmm. getting feedback, and just, you know, exercising my coaching muscle. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah. I remember um, back in before Dream Life, I was in network marketing and I was on stage one to three times a month, maybe traveling and doing different things. And I remember telling somebody what I say on stage, it's never for the first time because you know what? I have had five team calls a week for 10 years. (laughs) And so by the time I got to stage, I had already practiced the material over and over and over and over and over again. And then you get feedback, like what are the ones that make people go, Ooh, that's me. And what are the exercises that that you do that make people message you afterwards and say, Oh my gosh, thank you for that. So you get feedback by doing Mm -hmm. it. And oftentimes it feels like, well, I need to wait until I'm an expert. So then I can start doing it. But what you're saying is, in reality, the way that you become the expert and you build that confidence is by taking that action. Yeah. And you, you know, the more you do it, the more you think, Hey, I'm pretty good at this. Yes. Well, and I <laughs> got know, to listen how to some can of your... you prove that to yourself? Yes, exactly. And I got to yeah. listen to some of your calls and I remember, um, you asking, every time you asked a question, I was like, yes, that's it. <laughs> 
<laughs> and so, so my client out, calls, right? Yes, the, yes, the your client calls, calls. Yes. your actual like one-on-one -on -one calls. I, um, of course, with clients' permission, um, you get to give some to me, and I give you feedback. And I remember feeling like, ooh, she's on point. And the more that you actually do the work the more that, of course, you get the feedback, but you start to really build that confidence. Like, yes, what I'm doing is absolutely helpful. In fact, you had a client tell you that in just a few sessions, it was more helpful than the therapy she had received. Is that right? Tell me about that. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I I was floored by that and humbled. Um, yeah, she said she's been going to therapy for years and working with me for just a couple of months. She has accomplished more noticeable change in her life and her attitude and her ability to control her emotions and her feelings than therapy did for her for years. Like, like that's just, yeah. Mic drop. <laughs> that's like we need yeah. a mind blown emoji. <laughs> totally. <laughs> it's so stinking cool. And I think as a you know, former therapist, what I can say is typically therapy focuses on the past and says, why are you the way you are now? Right. Whereas as dream life coaches, we're focused on the future and we're saying, how can I get there? And what shifts and changes can I make in order right. to actually hit these goals and make these changes and have new habits, et cetera? Yeah. The new habits I think is, you know, how do we act in the moment? How yeah. do I re reframe what my thoughts are? All of those things. Yeah. Living more in the present and noticing how you what your behavior is in certain yeah. situations. And then practicing yeah. new behaviors, right? What am right. I going to do right. when this person triggers me again? Or what am I going to do if, if life isn't smooth sailing, right? Because it mm -hmm. isn't normally. <laughs> um, and so helping people to practice that new skill live in session is really helpful for them. And yeah. So, and, I, and I look forward to the following session when they can yeah. tell me how the week went and if they tried their new things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so it's, all, it's every session is different and it, your confidence raises the more you do it. So yeah. And you've got we a total got to tools it. of, you know, as we say, tools in your toolbox now mm -hmm. that you can draw from. So you have the linear, linear, is that the word? The linear <laughs> framework of the dream right. life pathway with a bunch of different exercises you can pull in as needed. Yeah. So let's talk a bit about charging for your <laughs> services. So tell me about the roadblock that you've experienced with either charging consistently or raising your rates or tell me a bit right. about what has kept you stuck in the past. So I'm a teacher <laughs> and teachers notoriously live paycheck to paycheck. Let's just put it out there. Mm -hmm. We do. So it's hard to get past that mentality and the feeling that, you know, am I going to have enough and, you know, always ending up even. It always seems I end up even because I think that's where my ceiling is and I need to raise my ceiling. <laughs> right. Um, I'm aware of it and I catch myself a lot, mm -hmm. but I also know that sometimes I get stuck in patterns because of my own thoughts around money. As people, I forget the expression, but it's like, why am I putting my hands in somebody else's pocket? Why am I worried about what's in their wallet? I, it's not my place to have them bargain hunt like I do. Oh, you know, so that's interesting. You know? Okay. And I, and I very often want to just give them a discount in order to get them to close this, the commitment and, I catch myself and stop myself because I know I'm worth what I'm charging. I spent a lot of time figuring out what was a fair price for the services. Um, but then I get a little scared, you know? I don't know if it's scared that they won't join or that I'm charging too much or it's too expensive. And I put those labels on there. 
do you feel like they are going to number one say the service isn't worth it or number two say they can't afford it which one do you feel like you lean towards I think more they can't afford it okay so a client so before they even know your service or have experienced your service you already have the mindset of they probably can't even afford it right okay so yes you are spending or not spending their money before they even know the cost is that right well, I'm I'm imposing my own thoughts on spending. Yes. Okay. On them. I'm putting it on them, my own thoughts on them. I know I'm doing it. Okay. Okay. <laughs> okay. And so have you had a client where they paid you the full price? Yes. Okay. Now tell me how that worked for you. I probably lowballed a little because it was my first client okay but it was the full price and she even renewed a couple of months so um okay. we worked together for six months I think okay okay you know so it felt good and I felt okay. like I was helping and and I know that I was providing value for what she was paying so it did it did feel good but I, but it was my first client and I think I did low ball. <laughs> okay. So she paid you the full price, but you've since raised your prices. <laughs> <All right. laughs> because I know what I've paid coaches. Yes. <laughs> and then I start thinking of it that way. Yes. So and then the other thing that's interesting is you talked about it being your normal, right? So this paycheck to paycheck is like your ceiling. It's your normal. And so um, uh, to just kind of like with all of the other goals we set, there's belief and action. Those two things will grow your comfort zone. Mm -hmm. And so one thing that we get to do is start growing your comfort zone by talking about the new price as though that it's normal, because what we do is then shift your nervous system. And then the next thing is telling your customers the new price mm -hmm. and getting their feedback. There have been times when I say a price and then I go, hold your breath. You know what I mean? <laughs> You're like, I'm a little scared, um, but it's part of the practice. Right, right. So what would you say, um, let's just say, what would you say is a normal teacher salary monthly income? That would be maybe your ceiling. Teacher salary monthly income, like $5,000. Okay. So 5,000 a month would be kind of a ceiling essentially. Mm -hmm. Okay. And so as a coach, your goal is to now raise that ceiling, right? So how mm -hmm. many people would you need to, let's just look here. I'm pulling out my calculator to make 5,000 a month. Let's say you charged $99 a session. You would need to do 50 sessions. Mm -hmm. a month in order to raise that. Now that could still be, I mean, that could be 20 clients. You're seeing them over a course of time or whatever, um, but you're also paying taxes on that. You're also having expenses. You also, so that's not take home, right? Right, right. Okay. So let's say you raise your prices to, and again, we are teaching the program right? That it's not hour for hour, that there's a package with like, mm -hmm. like e-course or um, like ebook material or audios or all these things that are like packaged together. So uh, the goal is that it's not per hour, but let's say you raise your price. So it's, um, you know, 249 a month, then you only need 20 clients instead of 50. Mm -hmm. How does that feel? Um, I have it set at 250 for four sessions at this time. Okay. Okay. So that, that is a comfort, comfortable number for me. Okay. What if you were to change that to, um, cause that's still only $62 an hour. Mm -hmm. If you were to break it down. So if you're $99 an hour, 
then that would be um, 396 for the four sessions, right? Mm -hmm. So let's start saying that you're four, um, $400 a month for four sessions and audio like hypnosis or, you know, your journal that you created, or they get a free book or things like that. How does that start? Can you tell, first of all, tell me that. I want that feels your uncomfortable right now. To be shifted. Go ahead. <laughs> I'm already calculating my head. That's a hundred dollars a week. I could never afford that. There's, there's where my head goes straight to that. Okay. Well, tell like, me that's what that's a car payment. <laughs> <laughs> tell me what, tell me your new price. At My new price is $3.96 a month. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and why would somebody want to pay $3.96 a month to get supportive life coaching from you? Because I will give you value. I, I work hard for free. Can you imagine how hard I'm going to work when you're paying me? <laughs> and seriously, that is how I think. I'm like, how would I word that? But yeah, you know, I give a lot of value for free. Can you just imagine how focused private coaching could work and to get you past your obstacles and onto a path to where you want to be. Yeah. So, yeah, yeah. You have spent years learning this content, not just in the past couple of years and uh, becoming a dream life coach, but also in your teaching career. Yeah. You've had to spend time you working with hard and difficult kids and teens. You yeah. have navigated the system. You have you're not just a Joe Schmo off the street, right? You have a lot of experience in communication, in um, self-expression, in helping people to be their best and get the best out of others. And so the package that you're creating is going to support your client in getting the results that they've been looking for. Right, right. And if they don't hire you, what are they going to do? Struggle. They're going to keep tossing. They're going to keep staying them. stuck. Yes. No. Yes. And they've looked, you know, they've tried, they've gone, they can't see a therapist once a week. Right. To be honest, it's, 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 they're full. <laughs> yeah. I was a therapist and had like 80 clients and I saw people once or twice a month. Yeah. Yeah. And unless um, you're like in crisis, true. you know what I mean? A therapist office is typically hard to get into. Now, of course, not mm -hmm. always and not everywhere, but it's just interesting to think about the one-on-one -on -one yeah. service, um, the, the honed in exercises for their specific need and what they're looking for. They can't yeah. And I think else. what we do applies to any challenge that people are struggling with because of there is a system to work through it. And yeah. it does apply to every situation, whether it's having relationship problems or, you know, um, career change or yeah. whatever, you know, it all, it does apply because yeah. it all starts with being self-aware and that's where we begin. And so for you, because I know we're creating a package here, right? That's mm -hmm. going to give clients the best results and you're including your art stuff in this package. Tell me a little bit about um, your ideal package and what that would include. The art I find is hard to deliver if it's not in person. Yeah. So I okay. am struggling a little bit with where to incorporate that um, while I do work a uh, part-time at a local studio and I offer some art therapy in that way. It's not really at this time part of my coaching. However, I am planning an event, um, an in-person event in October, and the art will be a component of a workshop on self-love. So awesome. that's, I haven't fully defined it yet, but it's definitely going to be part of it. So well, we will you, do some art. <laughs> when you think of self-love, self-expression, self-acceptance, that just is another way to use your brain in a new mm -hmm. way that, yeah, you know, spe specifically adults don't often do. 
And I do find that the more senses you involve, yes. the more deep your experience is. So yes. we can talk about something all day, but when we start to create and smell the art materials and move and see the colors, it, it, it all just, it yeah. deepens the experience. It does. And it can shift yeah. you on a cellular level, which means you leave changed. Mm -hmm. Have you had clients Absolutely. come back to you and say, thank you? Oh, yeah. 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 And actually just in my pottery classes. Yeah. It, it's naturally, art is naturally pushing people to try to step out of their comfort zones and to try something that they've never done before. And it it just fits. It, I don't even have to like force it. It just happens, you know, yeah. make mistakes, learn from the mistakes, try again. You know, it's life. <laughs> yeah. And now, and so you're, you're leading in some of these instances with the art, but you're able to weave in the, oh, the like, conversations we have. You wouldn't yeah. believe. <laughs> I love that. And so you're helping them. You're taking them through a process specifically in this case, pottery, um, but they're able to integrate it into the rest of their life as well. Absolutely. It's definitely a confidence builder. Yeah. And how often as adults do we feel proud of something we've created from nothing? Right. You know? So your so. content and your program is valuable. Mm -hmm. It absolutely is. Yeah. And it's not something they're getting from work or their home life or, um, you know, it's, it's, you're creating a space for somebody to really ask themselves questions they don't typically mm -hmm. ask and experience answers. They don't typically get a chance to experience or hear from themselves. Right. Yeah. And you know what, ironically, um, I learned more about the importance of art as a therapeutic tool after I retired and started teaching in a different setting where it wasn't based on technique or perfection or assigning a grade. Now you're just exploring art just for art. Yeah. <laughs> and it really made me, after all those years of teaching, fully appreciate what I was doing. Yeah. I don't think it was coming across in the public school setting because there were too many rules attached right. to it. Right. Yeah. And so when you think of your experience, not as per hour and not as per month necessarily even, but as a package where they get community, they get one-on-one -on -one kind of time with you, they get these projects that you do, they get the the linearization of the process <laughs> where they get to discover yeah. themselves. Um, you have a lot of opportunities. Yes, I see a, um, a storefront or something in my future because I need a home base to do more in-person things. Yeah. On my, you know, yeah. on my schedule and not in somebody else's studio, but that's, right. you know, that'll come. Yeah. Right now we start with what we have. <laughs> All right. And so now we want to grow your money mindset, um, like nervous system. We want to grow the nervous mm -hmm. system around that. Um, so if you were to charge, now I'm going to raise it again, four ninety five a, a month, or maybe for the package, maybe it's six weeks, maybe it's eight weeks, who knows? But $4.95 for, for the package that you are including X, Y, and Z. Um, how does how does that feel? Tell me a bit about how that how you would feel out offering that price. If I were to be able to deliver everything that I possess inside of me, I think it's worth it. <laughs> Absolutely. So tell me, I my program is $495. My program is $495. <laughs> awesome. And these are all the things that you get. And this is the um, outcome that you'll, you will receive. Awesome. 
side note, we had a plumber come to our house this last week and it was $400 for him to tell me to call someone else. Oh, how does that work? Because <laughs> it was like, it's $150 for the call. It's $300 for the test. And then it was like, oh yeah, this isn't our problem. You need to call the sewer or the sub pump guy or whatever. So just know oh. that you will be offering way more value than that. But I don't want people to be sad to pay me. I want them to be sad. Exactly. They yeah. They're not calling <laughs> me because they have a some pump issue. Oh. They're calling you because they are already feeling restless. They're already feeling called to their next level and they don't know how to get there. And right. so they need your service or else they're going to stay in the stuck pattern for decades. And we know people who do. Mm -hmm. And so your, pa your package is the pathway, is the roadmap. And so we could do two things, right? We could go back and say, all right, 5,000 a month is your ceiling. Well, let's talk about that. Or we could say, let's raise the ceiling. And the right. way that we raise the ceiling is by talking about the new ceiling as if it's normal. Because now you make 8,000 a month. Mm -hmm. You make 8,000 a month. Um, and you, we'd have to figure out how many clients you would need, right, in order to make right. that happen. Um, but as you start to grow that ceiling, then you'll say, all right, my program is $500. My program right. is $800. My program is $1,200. I know Supply people... and demand works. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. No matter whether it's a service or a product. Yes. Mm. Yep. And people pay for the outcome. They don't necessarily care how long it takes, how much schooling you've had. They don't care about a lot of that stuff. They just care if they're going to get the outcome they're looking for. Right, right. And that's um, that's where testimonials come in. Yeah. And, you know, right now when you're starting, it's hard to have testimonials when you're just starting. So... Yeah. I'm trying to grab them from wherever I can. <laughs> yes. And you already have some amazing testimonies yeah, I do. of people who've said, I have spent thousands of dollars in therapy and I've gotten more done with Eileen in three months. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, because again, it's not just talk. We're not just doing talk therapy. We're leading people to their next step through these important, powerful exercises. Now, can I tell you something honest though, uh -huh. with that statement? I personally feel like I'm afraid to insult therapists. <laughs> uh-huh. Uh-huh. So here's and, you what... know, there's a certain fear factor there for me because I don't want to make somebody feel bad. Yeah. Well, and you here's how you can um you could say it instead. You yeah. could say, I got more accomplished in three months with Eileen than it, with anything else I've tried in the past. Yeah, that sounds a little better. Cause I don't, you know, I, I go to a therapist. I know. I, I think therapists are great. Do. Yeah, I know. I agree. I hear you. And so you could just shift the wording a bit. Yeah. Because yeah. that's the most important part. The most important mm -hmm. part is that you gave her a loving kick in the right direction and you mm -hmm. supported them. I mean, I, I'm thinking of the person who I listened to from your sessions that mm -hmm. um, was just adorable and you could tell the growth from week to week to week. Yeah. Yeah. And that's because you are, you are, um, trained, you know what to look for, you know what questions to ask, and you have the time to invest in her. Right, right. Yeah. Just and, priceless. And it's, it's really, when you get done with a session, it's just so satisfying. Yeah. It's just like, ah, uh, you kind of like bask in the sun for the rest of the day of, yeah. of just how good it feels. Yeah. It feels good. Because you're seeing the aha moments along the way. Yeah. Yeah. Now, one last question in terms of um, money mindset and charging and things like that, and then I'll go into the comments, is how important is it for the client to have skin in the game? And, uh, I mean, from network marketing, I remember the phrase, people that pay, pay attention. And it's true. And so you've noticed it's that. It's very true. I yeah. notice it in myself. Okay. Yeah. You know, um, if I've done free challenges or free workshops, sometimes I'll show up and sometimes I don't, and I don't fully commit okay. because it's easier to blow it off if you didn't pay something, you know? Right. So it really is 
a disservice to only offer free content because personally that's that's not helping me but it also isn't helping anybody else right they need skin in the game so they actually do the work right and right. so um you know i think i think about that a lot if somebody really wants the outcome they say they want then they need to put skin in the game and that skin in the game and then especially with the, the certification and business program it's a year long program and i've had people say ah a year will go by so fast i better get to work you know yeah. and like oh my gosh i'm going to start writing my book or i'm going to start my program or i'm going to because they are realizing wait a minute there's kind of a timeline on this support and yes. so they'll do more because of that timeline yes. Yeah, and, I'm going to watch a video every day yeah. and, and you know, like just make some sort of a commitment and you get it in your calendar yes. and you might not do that if, if something is underpriced or, or freebies. Right. Yeah. Right, right, right. It's true. Um, okay. So the third thing with money mindset. So the first one is, is growing your nervous system a bit and starting to talk about it, figuring out what you need to live. I think that's a piece of it, you guys, right? We need to. The world will not be served if you go work at a gas station. I mean, I'm, I mean, the people would, you'd be great anywhere you work, but you know what I mean? Like, it's not about, I often say, um, if I have, if I have to go back to work, I'm serving the world in a less powerful way. And so with that being said, we need to be making a living, right? And so figuring out how much you need, how many clients that would result in creating a package that then you feel comfortable with. Like, all right, I agree. This is an 897 package. Um, I agree. This is a 1495 package and you feel really confident about that. Uh, and then it's about going to find those clients who are ready and willing to pay that. Mm -hmm. So if I have think a question that, for oh, you. Okay. I have several side hustles that help me pay the bills until I get my coaching business going. Uh -huh. Is the fact that I have a safety net, bad energy when it comes to my beliefs around money? No, I wouldn't say so. Okay. And here's why, because when you're working with a client, I don't want you to feel like you need that. You know what yes. I mean? Yeah. So if you have extra side gigs while you're building your coaching business, I think that releases you from the stress and the need. And that is super helpful. Because yeah. they are on my calendar and I do choose when I want to work. Yeah. So although they are commitments elsewhere, they're still on my timeline. I decide yeah. when and how much. Yeah. And I already let one side gig go. <laughs> <laughs> well, it just gives you goals, right? I think a lot of people- A little bit start, at a time. <laughs> yeah, they start building their business while they're working full-time or while they're doing these extra things. And then the goal is to set that income goal. So then you feel comfortable letting things go. Mm -hmm. But I would never tell somebody to, I, I mean, I remember another- um, lady was working her full-time job and she said, I want to write a book and start a program, but I'm afraid to quit my job. And I said, you don't need to, right. you can build your business on, in, on nights and weekends for a season until, because I would never want somebody to let go of something too early and then feel that need. And that's the energy that's going to. And then that comes really. across. Yeah. 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 True. So I don't think that you having other side gigs negatively impacts your business unless you like don't have time to then work on your business I mean there are things that I enjoy doing anyway yeah so yeah. it's not like drudgery the one that was drudgery I let go <laughs> yeah there you go there you go okay so what is next for you um we want to grow a program that you can like feel comfortable charging and again guys listen when I say this Start um, a little bit higher than you feel comfortable, but still feel comfortable. And then as you get more testimonies, more testimonies, more testimonies, you will raise your price. From my experience, it's less easy to, to start with a $5,000 program because your nervous system isn't ready for that yet. 
start with a $500 program. Let's get results. Let's get results. Let's know it's awesome. And then you can add to it. You can scale it, you know, that kind of thing. And then, you know, I went from, um, what was 90 day U-turn back in the day, um, like a $500 program to now a $10,000 program. And because I had to have that practice. I and have, that's how you gain your testimonials. That's how you gain your testimonies and right. you grow the program. I mean, that's not, obviously they're very different things, but I didn't start with a $10,000 program. I had to grow into it. And I don't think I'm that abnormal. I think most people, which is why a lot of times people start with freebies or smaller $29 a month things. And I, I don't think anybody needs to do that, to be honest, because you need way too many people to actually make it worth your while. Start with $500 a thousand dollars, um, or more. So, you, but, but create a program around it, not just hour per hour. So that way you right. feel really comfortable too, and then know that it can shift and grow and change. So what would be a good first package goal to create around? I was considering either a membership where it would be like group coaching mm -hmm. in a container. Or I was also looking to do nine, a 90-day program. Okay. And then how much do you feel comfortable charging right now? I didn't even think about it yet. <laughs> I know. Well, that's all right. Well, the We're membership program, I thought about it. but um, And I'm probably shooting too low. I was just thinking like, $33 a month or something along those lines. Well, let's talk about the 90 day program. What would you, what would be a good, like, what would you feel comfortable with for three months for a three months program? And then a little more like <laughs> meaning you feel comfortable and then a little more. I would feel comfortable with 250, but if I go a little more, maybe 350. Okay. Um, for the whole 90 days? Yeah. Okay. Okay. So 350 for the whole 90 days? Okay. No, huh? <laughs> I mean, okay. <laughs> All right, I mean, 500. Okay. I know, right? Well, I mean, there's an element of starting there, knowing it's going to increase. And so what we would say is to do, this would be called like your beta group. I'm looking for five to 10 people to be a part of my three month program. You charge 350 each and then knowing it's going to go to 597 mm -hmm. or 497 or whatever the right. case may be. Right. Um, it's not bad to start here. Just know it will grow. And the biggest reason for that is because if we want to replace your income. Okay. So if you want to make 5,000, now this would be over the course of three months, you would need 14 people. Mm -hmm. Does that seem doable? I think groups make sense for me. I'm comfortable working with group. And I don't know. I think I think it does make sense. And and does 14 seem reasonable? Oh yeah. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So that yeah. gives you kind of a honed in focused goal of 350, 14 to 15 people. Because it says 14.2. So we'll round up mm -hmm. 15 people is your goal for the first kind of group program. And you get to figure okay. out what that is. You get to figure out the teachings. You get to figure out the exercises. You get to figure out how many live time. Maybe you do three art projects a month. Maybe, you know, you get to kind of fill in all of the holes. Right. Um, but then just the next time you up it, it's the 497. Mm -hmm. Does that sound fun? Yeah, sounds good. I'm curious in the comments if how many people would like an art component in a coaching container? Yeah, let's ask. Let's ask the group. That is a great. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and look through the comments here, you guys, and see if there's anything specifically. But if you have any thoughts for Eileen, that would be um, that would be helpful. And it says there's 27 comments, but I'm only seeing like four. So hold on, let me try my phone. 
and we can look at the replay as well. Now I'll um, blow your mind again, just to, and I'm just doing this to review new brain cells. <laughs> okay, so we have a dream life coach who works in the school system. Then she works with teachers and principals and things like that. She used to be a principal. And so, um, you know, she already has an in with the school system, but so mm -hmm. do you. And she did a workshop and asked for $3,000 for the hour. Now workshop couple, with the teachers. Um, I don't know if this was for the teachers or for oh. moms. It could have been either. Yeah. I feel like she told me it was for so parents. just a one day, a one day workshop was three thousand mm dollars. -hmm. Wow. Now, um, just I'm just blowing your mind. That's all. I have nothing else to add. <laughs> <laughs> we'll just um, let that sink in, <laughs> right? And and the other thing, because the thing to consider, right, is is person to person versus person to corporate. Right. And so when I had my first speaking gig, I was like, um, I said, I typically, this is my first, this is my first time, but I said, I typically charge 5,500 plus flight and whatever. And they right. go, we don't even care what you're talking about. Yes, you're in. <laughs> that was kind of the feeling I got. And I thought, and did you faint right there? <laughs> I said, I should have, I should have said seven, <laughs> but that gave me my feet wet. Right. Yeah. And mm -hmm. so then the next time I was like, it's typically it's seven and mm -hmm. I actually did a three hour workshop. Yeah. And so now that, you know, anyway, I just think you kind of start a little bit higher than you feel comfortable with just knowing yeah. that it's going to grow. So it's not about the hour per hour. It's not about, it's the result and it's the whole package and it's all of the other things combined that give the person the result that they're paying for. And so it could mm -hmm. be for teachers. It could be for, um, you know, single moms like your book. It could be for the retirees who are like, I'm not dead yet. Like I, you know, yeah. a lot of, you know, you're rediscovering yourself. So picking your niche also mm -hmm. impacts how much you can charge because right. you certainly wouldn't charge a single mom $3,000, but you could charge a school system. Yeah. Potentially. Who knows and I think it? I'm naturally attracting people around my age who are looking to restart or rewrite their story, you know? Yeah. 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 Cause you so, are doing it and they're yeah. seeing you do it. Yeah. And they're mm -hmm. excited. At, they're like, I want what she has, which is why a group program where you can charge a yeah. bit more, but it's not, it, there's other things happening. It but I like the dynamic of the conversations in a group program. Yeah. But I have to say, you know what? I have never been happier in my entire life. <laughs> so exciting. Yeah. So For you sure. making the leap was worth it. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. For you. <laughs> well, we just on air um, priced out your next program. Uh, <laughs> and you no, know, the next thing we would do, right, is pick a deadline for you to uh, launch it. It doesn't have to be mm -hmm. completely even created, right? We talk a lot about that is getting it out into the world and getting some signups and create it as you go. Right. Um, certainly this week in the dream business program, we're talking about creating your outline and all of that. So you can have your outline created. So you can talk to people intelligently about what the offer is, but you don't have yeah. to have all the back end stuff quite done. So. Yeah, I have been working on it. So I have it kind yeah. of framed out. Yeah. This is exciting. So we'll keep this it conversation going. But I want to ask you <laughs> one last thing. How? Well, two last things. The first one is, how does it feel to have grown some of your money comfort zone over this last 45 minutes or so? <laughs> yeah, I feel more comfortable. I definitely do. I feel like I don't have to hold my breath when I think of the prices that you're mentioning. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Um, people yeah, will go to people... Target and accidentally spend that much. And I think of that too, or when I think of people buying designer purses for $6,000, I think I got a lot more to offer you than that. <laughs> yeah, for sure. So, yeah. And then my final question is if somebody's here and they are just like you, where they're like, oh my gosh, 
I'm ready to let go of where I was, or they're feeling that same restlessness. And I want to become a coach or I want to add value to the world in a new way. And they're considering um, becoming a dream life coach too. What would you tell them? Follow your heart, lean into it. If you're being called that direction for a reason, you know, and I think we, we think our thoughts are just silly little thoughts sometimes and we dismiss them. But if you pay attention to the little voices that are saying, go this way. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah, you're being pointed in that direction for a reason and things start to feel aligned and they start to flow. And it's like, wow, this is easy. It starts yeah. to feel easy. Yeah. And then you realize, you know, how hard you were working to get through the resistance of something that you weren't supposed to be there anymore. <laughs> mm. Resistance makes the difference. Yeah. And that's so your, that's your sign. <laughs> that is, that is. And so yeah. you made that tough choice. It can to sometimes feel like Velcro, right? Pivoting um, yeah. where you're like leaving something and it can be painful. But yeah, I've done there, that a couple of times in my life. And yeah, and, and people won't understand what you're doing. And I will say that. They'll yeah. say, you know what, this is risky. What are you leaving, you know, this safety net for? And it's like, you have to go after it. That's why we're here. That's how you grow. Yeah. <laughs> now on the other side, you are having the time of your life. Yeah. Yeah. I it's, love that. It's worth it. Worth it. And it's worth not trying to figure it out on your own because- um, you know, having these types of conversations like, all right, what should I charge and what should my program entail and how does this work? Uh, our conversations we have within the program on a consistent basis, because we're all coaches looking to grow to our next level and, um, you're not, don't have to figure it out on your own. So. And you're allowed to change your mind in yes. your, in your lifetime. Yeah. You know, for the longest time, I felt like I made these choices and I have to just live with them. You are allowed to change your mind. Mm. Things change and your choices are allowed to change. Yeah. So I important. I never knew that before. I just thought I, you know, I made these choices and now I have to just live with them. And it's not true. Mm -mm. So if anybody's at that point listening to this, you are allowed to change your mind. Yes. That's how you grow. That's how you grow. Yep. We did the best that we could with the information that we had at that time. Absolutely. And now we have new information. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah. Well, Eileen, um, I am <laughs> going to put your link to your book. It's called Mom on a Shelf, all about her kind of rediscovering and, and, and sharing uh, her story and supporting those who are in that kind of rediscovery phase as well. And then we'll also put the link to your free group in here too. So if anybody is interested in learning more about the, the art and the expression and all the cool things that Eileen is doing, you can definitely check her out. So thank you for your time today. Uh -huh. I so appreciate you saying uh, yes to 90 day awesome. U-turn a few years yeah. ago. Who would have known that we'd be here today? <laughs> um, but the how absolutely does show up when you're ready and you- Oh, absolutely. You've seen that over and over again. Yeah. So I'm excited to see where the next few years take you. <laughs> Thank you so much, Denise. <laughs> All right, you guys have an awesome night. And if you are looking into becoming a dream life coach or want to learn more yourself, comment coach below. Let's have a conversation because your dream uh, deserves to be, deserves to unfold. So have an awesome night, you guys. And we'll talk <laughs> again soon. Bye. Bye.